Honourable Senators, Senator Lambie has submitted a proposal under Standing Order 75 today. It is shown in item 12 on today's order of business. Is the proposal supported? I note four senators are standing. Not including the proposer, I note that. I understand that informal arrangements you can be seated now. I've noted you're standing. I understand that form informal arrangements have been made to allocate specific times to each of the speakers into debate in today's debate. With the concurrence of the Senate, I ask the clerks to set the clock accordingly. I call Senator Lambie. Thank you, Acting Deputy President. If the Tasmanian State Government gets its way, we're going to spend $370 million on a new Hobart Stadium at Macquarie Point. Anybody with a checkbook worth $375 million in free cash and facing the problems that Tasmania is facing wouldn't start with a stadium. The lack of U Butte Stadium is, yes, a problem, but it isn't at the top of the list of priorities. So why are we doing this? Because we have a gun to our head and it's being held by the CEO of the AFL. The AFL says we can't have a team without building the stadium. Even though we've already got two, both of them meet the grade for the AFL, we play games there now. But you don't have to worry about those kinds of details when you're not, one, not, the, one playing, not the one paying for it. And the AFL are not the ones paying for it, Tasmanian taxpayers are. Why? Because the new stadium was never included in the AFL task force business case for a Tassie team. It wasn't supposed to be part of the deal. It snuck its way in and suddenly we're on the hook, just like a fish. And don't get me wrong, it's not to say that a stadium wouldn't be a good thing to have. It would be great to have, I'm sure. Hobart is missing out on major conferences, and at the moment Hobart doesn't have a site for a conference like that, which means we go without that money that comes from interstate tourism. That money is worth something to the state coffers. How much? No idea. Because the government, state government of Tasmania has no idea. No business case prepared, no figures to support supporting the decision. We just don't know. It's pie in the sky stuff. But there'll be some value from it, and that's a good thing. It's why it's not a bad idea in, in isolation. We just can't look at this in isolation. I wish that we could. But if we're going to, going to back this, what do you say to the people sleeping in their cars? Here's some free tickets. Go on your way. Do you just tell pensioners freezing in their homes in winter because they can't afford their power bills that we'll send them some AFL-branded socks? Fair dinkum. It's a fine thing to have a stadium. Any more economically secure times, maybe we'd even be able to justify it right now. But it can't be on top of the list of things we need to spend $375 million on in Tasmania. We're in a housing crisis. We're in a health crisis. People are dying waiting for a hospital bed. They're not dying waiting for a bloody footy team. People are living in tents, and our priority has to be putting a roof over their heads, not putting a roof over a stadium. And the argument from the Tasmanian Premier that this money won't come at the cost of health and housing, with all due respect, is absolute rubbish. It is up to you where you allocate that money that Tasmanian taxpayers pay. Wake up to yourself. Is he saying it wouldn't be addressed faster if we spend it more? Why? Is he out of, out of ideas of what he could spend the money on to make things better sooner? If he is, I'd say throw a rock out of your office window and whoever it hits will have a million ideas for you, but don't actually do that because if it hurts them, there'll be nowhere in the health system to put them. If he isn't saying that and he's got ideas how to make things better sooner, is he saying that they don't need the money? If so, why isn't he doing them already? So, of course, what he's saying is he has always is he has ways to make it better, faster, but they need money right now and they don't have the money. They don't have $375 million sitting behind their couch. So where's the money coming from, Premier? From the roads? From the schools? From the hospitals? From Tasmanians to the AFL. The AFL is holding a gun to the head of Tasmanians, and that is the truth of the matter, and you are absolutely despicable when there are more crucial points that need to be dealt with. People's lives are at risk in Tasmania, and here we are talking about a stadium that, quite frankly, we cannot afford. 
We cannot afford it when people's health is at risk, when teachers need a pay rise, when we've got ramping going on like there's no tomorrow. This is absolutely disgusting, and you're rubbing into the face of Tasmania some new U-Boot stadium that's got some automatic roof on it. What planet are you on, Rockcliffe? What planet are you on? I can tell you. Here's a go for you. Try him, Rockcliffe. Stick out. Come on, Rocky, stick your chest out. Let's see what you've got. Because I can tell you, instead, we have a $375 million, million to spend on helping us lift our literacy rates, reducing our electric elective surgery times, sealing and resurfing our roads, and they say give us a stadium or we'll shoot. I say to you, Rocky, tell them to pull the goddamn trigger and try their luck. Thank Go you. on, Rocky. Thank you, Stick Senator your chest Lam out. Thank you, Senator Lambie. Senator Brown. Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy President. At the outset, I would like to put on record our support for a Tasmanian AFL and an AFLW team. Nearly every Tasmanian would want to support or want to see the AFL a truly national game and having a AFL team in Tasmania and a AFLW team in Tasmania makes that a reality. Now having said that, I'm also on the record of um, saying why is it that Tasmania somehow has to jump through hoops and other hurdles that other states haven't had to jump through? Why are conditions being put on Tasmania receiving an AFL uh, side that other states haven't had to um, ha haven't had to put up with? Now, this is a really interesting uh, discussion around priorities and, and what I have to say here right here and right now we have Senator Lambie's network obviously opposed to the stadium we have the federal liberal uh, team nearly all opposed to the stadium I, I think the greens might be opposed to the stadium as well but what I, so what that all comes down to is we have a premier back home that isn't listening. He's not listening to his own team. He's not listening to other federal representatives, but also he's not listening to the people on the street, because nearly everyone that I've spoken to have indicated that there are other things that the Tasmanian government should be looking at. There's other priorities, and they do go to health and hospitals and housing and education. And, the, and what I hear from the state, my own state Labor colleagues, and they have been calling for um, Premier, Premier Rockcliffe to change his decision on this, to, to change the decision to allocate $375 million to a stadium um, that we shouldn't have to build just so we get our Tasmanian team. They've talked about people coming up to them and saying, why can't we put that money to hospitals? Why can't we put that money to uh, housing? We're in desperate need. In fact, the Premier, Premier Rockcliffe, is on record of say, saying, asking the federal government for injections of cash to help in those other areas. Just extraordinary. Extraordinary. So I hope uh, Premier Rockcliffe is listening to this debate. And, I, and more importantly, I hope, I hope, I hope the AFL uh, CEO, Gillan McLaughlin, is listening to this debate. Because quite frankly, um, they should be ashamed of themselves that they have come here, that they have put a condition on a Tasmanian team, which no other state has had to um, uh, uh, have to jump, no other hoops that t uh, other states have to jump through. So it would be good to be able to have our young players here playing for a Tasmanian side. And um, I just hope that Premier Rockcliffe has a uh, listens to not only people here, but more importantly, the community back home. 
So I have, but I'm also on the record of saying that the Australian, the Australian people elected an Albanese government on a platform of collaboration and respect for all levels of government. And respect in that sense is that we will wait for a business case for the Tasmanian government before reaching a decision. Now, this is a, when we talk about business cases, this is about a business case that needs to stack up. And this, no, 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 that is completely incorrect, Senator Wish Wilson. That is completely in incorrect. I've been very upfront with the uh, when I've been asked by the media that this is the position that the the government has made clear from the very get go um, that if there's a business case that, that comes forward, and there isn't a business case at the moment, there isn't a business case, and nothing has been presented to this government. And what we've said is that we will consider it on its merits, but it has to stack up. And quite frankly, Premier Rockcliffe should be really looking at his Thank priorities. Thank you, Senator Brown. Senator Dunningham. Thank you, uh, Deputy President. And look, I'm pleased to be able to make a contribution to this debate. Uh, to give a bit of context to some of the things I've said publicly down in Tasmania on this issue, and it is something I feel strongly about, and I don't resile from anything I've said. Uh, I, with Senator Brown and with Senator Lambie, and I suspect others in this debate, support Tasmania getting a team. We deserve it. We have a fine AFL hi uh, history. We've provided some of the best players in the AFL's history uh, over many years, and that's something we could continue to do um, with a team of our own and an AFLW team as well. But look. I don't agree with the idea of the federal government funding a stadium, but I'm not going to let Senator Brown and the Australian Labor Party off the hook that easily. You can't come in here and say that, Senator, uh, that the Premier of Tasmania, Mr Rockcliffe, isn't listening and then say that you haven't made your minds up yet. The Australian government have to actually put a decision on the record at some point, and I look forward to the day that that happens. Yes. Um, and going out and listening to the community is a good start to do that, but I do actually want to make a couple of points around uh, the stadium and, of course, around the Tasmanian government. Any day of the week I'd back Rockcliffe over White, Premier Rockcliffe over Opposition Leader White, because you know what? The Tasmanian Labor Party can't even really come up with a position. They've got to go and have a taxpayer-funded referendum to figure out whether they support the stadium. So they want to, they want to spend taxpayers' money to figure out what position they should have to fund a stadium with taxpayers' money. Yeah. So I tell you what, at least I know where I stand. Yes. Premier Rockliffe knows where he stands. The Labor Party in Tasmania, federally and at a state level, don't know where they stand. But back to a point that uh, Senator Brown made, which I do agree with. And I know Senator Brown is a fine Tasmanian who yeah. actually does have her state's interests at heart. I know that very clearly, along with her Tasmanian colleagues. The AFL should take note. They should not treat Tasmanians as mugs. They landed a historic deal for broadcast rights—$4.5 billion, historic, self-described, private money. Why aren't they putting any of that into the construction of a stadium? Why aren't they being asked to fund this uh, arrangement that would enable us to get a team? If it's so important to them, to the club presidents, for us to have a team, why don't they do something about it? Instead of asking the taxpayers of Tasmania to foot the bill, I ex well, I'll tell you what, Senator Brown, if you want to stand up and say that the Australian government won't fund the stadium, you Go do it today. We'll you You've got an opportunity. We'll There's another Labor speaker, and I'm looking forward to that being put on the record. But if your view is that the AFL should fund it, then make that clear in the next contribution, and the Australian government won't fund it. We should be putting the asset as a united team on the AFL, right. as has been suggested by Senator Lambie, to fund this stadium. Let's get them to do what they're telling us we need to do, yep. not Tasmanians to have to choose between whether they get Commonwealth funding for a hospital bed or a football stadium. Yep. Senator Lambie is right, and we should be backing this point. Gillan McLaughlin and the AFL should be doing the right thing by every person that wants an AFL team and they should be funding it. $4.5 billion sloshing around over the next few years could go to something good, like building a stadium if that's what they think we need to have. Having said that, though, Senator Brown was also right on the fact that we are the only jurisdiction being asked to build a stadium to have what everyone else has. 
They love picking on the little state. Yes, we've got 12 senators, and I think it's time we made our voice heard collectively. The AFL can no longer treat us like mugs. And if they've got a really good case to make, I hope they make it. I hope they can tell the Australian government why using $375 of that finite resource, taxpayers' money, is better spent on this than anything else, than on housing, than on more roads, than on hospital beds, than on sorting out that scourge of family and domestic violence. If AFL want to actually point to reasons that funding a stadium with taxpayers' money is more important than funding any of the things I've just mentioned, I'd love to hear it. Because I tell you what, when I go out and face the voters, they are not going to take the lines that they might, the AFL might offer me. I'd love it if they had to go out and uh, face the electors like members of parliament have to, but they don't. They can get away with seeking to blackmail our state. But we should not allow that to happen. The AFL should do the right thing, and the Labor Party should make clear what their position Thank is, you, state Senator and federal. Dunham. Senator Billick. Thank you, Mr. Acting Deputy President. Can I just say, Senator Dunham, you and I get on pretty well, but I'm disappointed to hear you say that the state Labor Party haven't put their position or support it. They do not, and they've been very clear about it for months that they don't support it. They've been clear about it for months. You must read the newspapers. You know. We know they've come out and said they don't support it. Also, can I just say, and I'll come to this a bit later, but we have not been asked for any money. So what, I, what I'm saying is Minister Rockcliffe really couldn't organise he couldn't organise a chook raffle. Order, he wants order, money. Order. He's Billick, asked for money for Senator, other things. Senator Billick, please direct your comments through the chair. Oh, my apologies, um, Acting Deputy President. You're correct. I should know better. But Senator Dunham knows, through you, Chair, that, that the um, State Liberal Party have not actually approached us for money because they can't get a business case together. I presume. I mean, seriously, they couldn't. They couldn't run a chook raffle down there. They are hopeless. They are hopeless. We support, as as Senator Brown said. I can hardly hear myself, Mr. Acting Order. Deputy no, you're President. You're quite right, Senator Bennett. Money Senate from up here, I might say. Order. Senators on my left will perhaps. Be quiet. Thank I was, you. I was going to say turn now, it down, but I mean be, be and quiet. And I thank Senator, Senator Lambie. I thank Senator Lambie for the MPI today, because what it does do, it gives us a chance to highlight those challenges that Tasmanians are facing, and that is around health, housing, and education, and in the public sector. Um, in the, sorry, in the, pro, yeah, in the public sector, where people are so the workers are so overworked that they're you know having to go on strike because there's not enough of them, they're not paid enough, they haven't had a wage increase in years, and we've got a state Liberal government that's just walking all over people saying they want to build this amazing stadium. I'm often one of the first to complain when Tasmania gets left off the map, and we know that happens a lot. Tasmania is an AFL state and always has been, and we do deserve our own AFL and AFLW teams not just a matter of state pride, but also for the economic benefits they deliver. As Senator Dunham said, our state has produced a great slew of AFL players. Um, names that people in here would know, not from Tasmania, Darrell Baldock, Peter Hudson and Ian Stewart. And if I actually want to mention a few other people, my husband, being a Richmond fan, would probably like me to add Matthew Richardson and Jack Rewalt. All in all, Tasmania has actually supplied over 300 players at the top level—300. Eight games a year are already played on the AFL fixture are already played in Tasmania with the capacity for more people and the capacity for more games. So for a Tasmanian team, it's really a no-brainer. Obviously, we have to have a Tasmanian team. But we should be able to do it on a level playing field with other states, not have a gun held to our head by the AFL 
Unfortunately, I do know it wasn't initially the AFL that brought this issue up. It was the former Premier who added this into the debate. Um, so why he ever did that, I don't know. Why he ever did that, I don't know, but it was not part of what the AFL uh, put to people. But we shouldn't have to jump through extra hoops. It's not right. I come in here and I argue for state rights. Um, for territory rights, sorry, because I think they should have the same rights as states. And it's the same when it comes to Tassie and footy. Why is Tassie like treated like the Cinderella of the football world? I don't understand why. We've proven that we can get people to football games. We play games already at um, at the stadiums that are already exist. There's two stadiums that exist. It's not like we don't have a stadium. There's already two stadiums that exist. So why does the Premier of Tasmania want to have another stadium built? At an enormous cost, enormous cost, as Senator Lambie has said and Senator Brown has said, while people are waiting to get on the, the housing list, we've, we've got more people than ever on the housing list. We've had the state government say they're going to build um, a house, you know, uh, Thank you, Senator it's 10, Billick. Houses. Thank you, We've Senator Billick. Senator McKim. Well, thank you, Acting Deputy President. <clears throat> the Greens have long been on the record supporting Tasmanian men's and women's teams in the AFL. Tasmania is a genuine footy state. We deserve teams in the national competitions. In fact, they will not be national competitions unless they have Tasmanian sides yeah. in them. And we thought we're on the way because we knew that we had cleared every single hurdle, even the blatantly unfair and unreasonable ones, put in our path by the AFL. But then not long ago, at five minutes to midnight, into town swans the AFL CEO, Mr Gil McLaughlin. After having driven straight past the homeless Tasmanians sleeping in tents on the domain, he arrogantly demanded that we spend money, a billion dollars, on a sports stadium we don't need instead of building them the homes they so desperately need. And worse than that, he said that unless we build this sports stadium that we don't need, we will not get teams in the AFL. Well, this is a disgrace. It's an insult to Tasmanians, and it is nothing less than a blackmail of our state. And he's got no right, and the AFL has no right to blackmail our state like this. And nor should the state Liberal government so weakly cower in the face of the AFL's demands, because it's all about the money for the AFL and for Mr McLaughlin. Now, you could not find a more literal example of the phrase moving the goalposts. For nearly two decades, the AFL has been happy for Hawthorne to play at York Park, accepting millions of dollars of the state's money to buy the matches. We've been happy for uh, games to be played. North Melbourne at Bell Reeve in the south, again, millions of dollars of taxpayers' money to buy those games into Tasmania, and now at the 11th hour, with all the ridiculous arguments against the Tasmanian team having been carefully dismantled, apparently we don't have a good enough stadium. Well, give us a break. They were good enough for AFL for the last 20 years, and they'll be good enough for the next 20 years. The state does not have a billion dollars to spend on a footy stadium we don't need, while thousands languish on our public housing waiting lists and on our elective surgery waiting lists. Aboriginal Tasmanians were promised a truth and reconciliation park as the centrepiece of the Macquarie Point development. They have been working on it for years, a place of healing, a place of storytelling, of connection and of country. Then they woke up not long ago to the news that a stadium we don't even need would take priority over a reconciliation and truth park, and that park could just quite literally languish in the shadow of a stadium. No consultation, no communication, just here it is, like it or lump it. Well, news for the AFL and Mr McLaughlin. Tasmanians don't like it, 
and we're not prepared to lump it. Tasmanians are dying, literally dying, while they are waiting for ambulances. Or they're dying in ramped ambulances because there are no hospital beds available to save their lives. It is expensive, uh, offensive in the extreme to spend over a billion dollars on a stadium like this that we don't need while our hospital system buckles under the strain of years of underinvestment and so many Tasmanians are sleeping rough. Only the federal Labor government can save us from the Tasmanian Liberal government. The Greens urge Mr Albanese to listen to the calls from across the spectrum, from across the Tasmanian community, and refuse to fund a single dollar of this massive white elephant. If he does that, if he refuses to fund it, it will not be built. And I'll tell you now, if it's not built, sooner or later we will get our teams in the AFL and the AFLW, but those teams must be delivered on reasonable terms not at the expense of Tasmanians who most need help, and certainly not at the expense of a pure and simple, obscene attempt to blackmail Tasmanians into spending a billion dollars of public money that nobody can afford building a stadium that nobody needs. Thank you, Senator McKim. The time for the discussion has expired.